Why did the US build the F-16 Falcon when the F-15 was already there? The MiG-21, a small and highly maneuverable aircraft, caused the US Air Force to lose its edge in the skies, which it had during the Korean War and World War II. In 1972, the Air Force came up with a fighter that could hold its own against the MiG, the F-15 Eagle. For most people, the biggest surprise was how big the F-15 was. The Air Force was fighting against small and agile MiGs in Vietnam, and here you have such a big aircraft. Extra features that were added to the F-15 made it a very big fighter jet, weighing 14 tons. John Richard Boyd, a member of the infamous Fighter Mafia, a group of U.S. Air Force officers and civilian military experts, was the driving force behind a study to evaluate technologies that is now known as the Lightweight Fighter Program. The Fighter Mafia set out to design the ultimate dogfighting plane, one that was both more cost-effective to mass-produce than prior fighters of comparable performance and more compact in size. Both the General Dynamics YF-16 and the McDonnell Douglas YF-17 were created as part of the lightweight fighter program. Soon after, the two aircraft engaged in combat with each other, and the YF-16 decisively prevailed over the YF-17 thanks to its superior velocity, larger spectrum, and maneuverability, particularly at supersonic rates. The Pratt & Whitney power plant that powered the F-15 Eagle was also used in this fighter. The YF-16 eventually became known as the F-16 Fighting Falcon as a result of the Air Force announcing on January 13, 1975, that they would purchase 650 new aircraft. 